Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we're coming in. I know we're late. We're late. We have a great explanation for this. My mom <laughs> has gone to Jersey to visit our family and to spend time with our family up there. So we decided that it was going to be a great week yes. for us to renovate her bathroom while she's gone and we yes. have the space, time, and opportunity to do so. So exactly. every day is like a puzzle piece. You got to keep doing, 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 doing. Yeah. So that's why we're late, y'all. But yep. we're here. And Indeed. We're gonna get, and we're going to get into it. It is season two, episode 10, What's Love Scott to Do? The season finale. I'm going to tell you what. I have never been so happy for something to come to an end because <laughs> next season I will not be reviewing nah, this. we ain't doing it no more. And it's, not, and, and it's conflicting because I love the cast of this show. But this is not what we signed up for. Right. We signed up for, y'all know the story, for these black couples to come together in these big projects with these big dreams of revitalizing their community. Yep. I ain't seen We ain't skits. seen none of that yet. First of all, can they get a spinoff show called the Scotts Brothers or something like that on HGTV where you yeah. see some black people working together and actually doing something and they get along and they go home at the end of the night and there's no drama. Exactly. Let's do that. And I'll be I'll watch. I probably would. I might even review that. I might come down there and be your secondhand <laughs> film crew if you want me to. Yeah. Hey, Let me do know. That. Jump down in the comments. <laughs> I'll do that. For real, for real. Y'all got to pay for that flight though because flights are still high even in COVID. Yeah, Unless you're flying spirit and I ain't doing that. But anywho. Or send a car to pick me up. <laughs> so, let's talk about Mel and Martell real quick. Okay. So, and I'm not going scene by scene, and I'm not talking about everything. Just the things that stood out to us. Mel and Martell are having a conversation. And it came to Mel's knowledge that Kimmy has stopped by the office to see Martell to have a meeting. Hmm. And that meeting started with another individual being there as well. But that individual went ahead and left, leaving Martel and Kimmy to be alone having this meeting. Everything took a sharp left for yeah. no reason, in yeah. my opinion. Like, we got to a point where Kim, uh, where Mel was like, oh, so you had a meeting with her by yourself, and you know the ways that she likes to touch all on you and feel up on you according to what you say. And then she said, well, the next time that she decides to come by, you need to let me know so that I can be there. And I'm sitting here like, how did we get here? Yeah. <laughs> like, how do we get to a point where you are insecure about your girlfriend being around your husband alone? Now, granted, the way that our household runs and the way that we flow with each other, we are never in the presence of a male or female, you know how we're going to say it. Yeah. By ourselves. By ourselves. Because not it, intentionally. Not anyway. intentionally. Because it leaves for conversations like this. And it yeah. leaves you to be the one that has to fight for whatever room or whatever it may look like to yeah. your spouse. And being that Martell is a known cheater, Mel has a right to feel some kind of way, but not about your friend. Yeah. Not you, Kimmy. You him, know your you friend. him, yeah, but not Kimmy. Kimmy never gave her a reason yeah. not to trust her. So then she's like, you know, like she said, if he if this happens again, I want to be there because you already said she ain't nothing but a side chick and she is team um, Martell. I'm like, whoa. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. And because I'm doing this review so late, I have was privy to a Facebook Live or Instagram Live that Mel had did. And she's sitting there talking about trying to backpedal and pussy pop, as they would say, and saying that I wasn't saying that she touches all on him. This was according to what he said. And he said that she was a side chick. But you felt some kind of way. Yeah. You said that you wanted to be there the next time that she was there. So exactly. although he said it, you felt some kind of way about exactly. it. Which means that his feelings were your feelings in that moment. Yep. Gotta own it. You gotta own it. You gotta own it. You can't bet <laughs> and pussy pop that because it wouldn't even have came up. Yeah. If that was it. Her tea, and that ain't even tea, that's been debunked, shouldn't have even been brought up again. And I and, and me, I don't even know Kimmy like that. But I know she don't want no Montel. No, nah, who, Cause, cause, who does? Yeah, because Kimmy don't want no drama. Nah, and that so, ain't nothing but a recipe. Yeah, that's exactly. a big bowl. So I know she ain't uh, fit in the sign of that. soup drama. <laughs> don't nobody want that. Even the ones that <sighs> acquitted will be drama. So she ain't even going to do that. And first of all, it ain't safe. Let me... <laughs> Anywho, so we then we saw Mel. She went over there to do uh, rehearsal for the play. See, this is a great example 
of you just doing too much. Doing too much. Yes. Something that you said you want to do and you're ready to do, you didn't even know your lines. Yeah. Like I turn up said you wrote the song, you don't Cause, remember the words. <laughs> Cause I got kind of confused and I was like, this play rehearsal is, is different. So they just feed you your lines. Now nah, hell no. Nah. So at first I was thinking that maybe they cause I know sometimes people don't like for people to hold a paper because you can get so hooked on reading out the paper, you don't memorize the lines. So I said maybe they feed you the lines and you call them back and you just can remember them. maybe it was different, but nah. Yeah. What's that word that you used on me the other day? Something um when you remember, when you think of something, then it keeps coming back to you. Oh, your, oh, your reticular activation yeah. system. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and talk about Kimmy and Maurice over at their household. So Maurice has been away and he's been away doing the testing to become a lawyer and come to find out that he is going to become a consumer, consumer lawyer. Consumer attorney. I said, come I on now. Say he want to help the little guy. That's, that's why I like Maurice, I like them, man. man. They're my favorite you know, couple. I mean, he could have became any kind of lawyer that he wanted to become. But he came but he, with a goal in mind. But he came in, he wanted to help the little guy. Yeah, man. So, uh, yeah. So he's on his way home and she wanted to do something special for him. So she's fixing some lamb chops and things like that. So then later on when he came home, he's exhausted. Mm -hmm. I can't even imagine. Like you were I saying, know. when yeah. you took your Series 7, the testing center does... Um, the testing for um to become a lawyer, all that stuff. And Stanley was like, it is intense in there. Yeah. And I was like, I can't even imagine. He was like, he, your test was like three hours. He said, uh, three hours and 45 minutes. And they're in there way longer than him. Yeah, I, was I like, can't remember. That's exhausting. I don't know if theirs is eight hours or what, but I know it was a long goddamn time. So I know, I know I was tired. So I know he was more tired than me because he yeah, spent cause more time. Yeah, because it's all mental. Yeah. So he came home and he was like, listen. In so many words, Maurice was like, don't even put your leg on me. Yeah, don't just, even just back let, it up on me. Just let just me go. Need, I just need to go to bed. Exactly. And let me be. But before <laughs> he went to bed, there was a conversation about Monster and Monster's birthday was coming up. And Monster don't want no adults at his party. See, nah. I love when children get at that age where you want to treat them like babies, but they're still like, no, nah, I'm crossing nah. over a little bit and I don't want you at my party. Yeah. But he said, you know, what I want is I want a minivan. Like, I want a minivan to come pick up my people. Maurice was like, huh? A minivan? Minivan? I said, do you mean a Sprinter, Monster? <laughs> yeah. I said, because we're not, we're not picking you up in the Honda Odyssey. <laughs> we're not doing that. <laughs> but see, but see, this is going to happen. See, if they get him that Sprinter, the Sprinter when he turns 17, 18, or 16, 17, he going to want that party bus. Well, most Sprinters are party buses these days. And then I was thinking, I said, well, maybe he would like like the Sprinter that they converted into a gaming van. Yeah. Because we have those here and they look amazing. I don't yeah, even like do. games, but I think I would have fun in there. My dad going to So, well, come to find out, Kimmy is um, going to surprise Maurice with a birth, not a birthday, um, a congratulations a dinner. Well, a celebration yeah. dinner. Because he's <laughs> taken the test, but he has not gotten the results yet. But she's confident that he's going to pass. But... While we wait, like Bob said, while we wait, uh -huh. we're going to celebrate. And we're going to celebrate the fact that no matter the outcome, you completed your courses and you took your test and everybody is so mm -hmm. proud of you. But you know what? It kind of uh, remind me of what you did with me, even though when I was taking the test, you was concerned that I was passing. But you said I knew you knew in your spirit that I had passed because you had made the post and everything that I passed and all that stuff. So yeah. you had it already, already ready. All I had to do because, was go, And you said the reason why you knew I passed because you saw the work that I put in. Yeah. And the sacrifice. And I think the same thing with Kim. And she saw the overnight studying, leaving, going upstairs, all this. Yeah. She's talking about, you know, just takes over your whole life. Yeah. So she already knew. And that's how I knew that the couple of times that he had failed it, he was doing it like we were still doing YouTube. Like he was focused, yeah. but not focused. Yeah. But this last time, like my husband does not leave me. Yeah. Period. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like some people, are like y'all always go. Oh, yeah, kinda. I was I was staying after work on yeah. Fridays. When he to study, so you know how intense yeah. it was on Fridays. You ready? You ready to get up out of there? Yeah, I was like, oh, he passing this. <laughs> He's sacrificing his family life and his. Yeah. Mm -mm. Nah, <laughs> this ain't this dude right here. <laughs> so I knew he was going to pass. So um, they invited everyone. And Martel Holt said that he was not going to come because 
that Mars he knew that Marso and I mean yeah that's that won't right that won't is right. gonna be there and it pisses me off that was not right because your friend that hasn't done anything, anything to, to you, you has to is really the sacrifice mm -hmm. because you just can't ignore him right for a few hours so that you can, can celebrate, celebrate your friend with your friend mm -hmm. that's almost like a wedding. And someone saying, I'm not coming to your wedding because your Aunt Grace going to be there. Mm -hmm. Well, but Aunt Grace. Ain't got, <laughs> ain't got well, nothing to do with me. Ain't got shit to do with Aunt Grace. Come because it's me. Because I'm like, your friend got a major, is, got a, is doing a major accomplishment. Oh my God, yes. That is hard. And you just couldn't take a, just an hour. Just yeah. show up for an hour. Yeah. Just, and, just bite your tongue. And, yeah. But I'm so glad that Mel came. Because yeah. usually, and this is how I know that there's a disconnect with them. Because usually she's she's independent of Martell. But when they are together, they're like two cackling females. When they're good. <laughs> so this would be an opportunity that she would find a way not to be there too. Hmm. So, I don't know. But they got to this point in the party. Like, Maurice was so excited. And his reaction was kind of like my reaction. I can do it for other people, but don't do that skit to me. Uh, and then, what if I fail? Like, you giving me a party, and what if I fail? Like, give me the party after I know these test results. That was his face. But I was kind of <laughs> confused because, like, after my test, I got the results immediately. So I don't know if the bar is different. Has to be. I, I don't know. Yeah. I couldn't do it. Oh, well, maybe it might no. be the test center that he went to. I don't know. Yeah, well... We're not becoming. A well, we already know he passed, so it don't make no, it don't make no, make no difference. <laughs> but this party would have this would have been the laughing stock of social media if he yep. didn't, Kimmy. <laughs> but I get what you were doing, but don't do that stuff to people like us, because I appreciate it. I got the pass get. I got it's got to be stamped, finalized, notarized. Then you can celebrate it. But I remember you said this, but I like that she said that I'm not throwing a party. For you because you're gonna pass but i'm throwing a party for you for all the hard work and dedication that you did with this i get it yeah don't do but that but at the end of the day you still don't <laughs> want a part of you ain't bad. don't do that skip <laughs> that's a lot of freaking pressure and if i don't pass they're gonna make a meme about me yeah <laughs> no no so um at the party um we saw that marso was talking to and i can't remember the lady's name but she was in season one and Evidently, um, Destiny had sought out her to possibly build out those suites as well. That. And there was a $50,000 um, figure budget. that was being tossed around as the budget for this thing. And I'm like, $50,000? That's for 12 suites? That's right, cheap. That's real cheap. Yeah, like, who's cheap. building it? Bob the Builder? <laughs> <laughs> Door the Explorer? <laughs> Fifty thousand is cheap. I mean, I yeah, remember when true. we wanted to renovate our house, and it was eighty grand mm -hmm. just to renovate and add on a room. Yeah, that was adding on what, like a couple hundred square feet. Yeah, mm -hmm. like eighty grand. So now, now I'm not saying they won't try to get over on us, but anywho, so fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. And this is, I could be interpreting this incorrectly because I'm human and I'm not, I'm not perfect. But then it seemed like once Marceau heard about this $50,000 budget and this figure, he was like, oh, hell no. Uh -huh. oh, what I can do is... Say, so that's what I used to do that work for, but now... <laughs> he said... He I'm said, on a whole nother level. He said, didn't I hear that she wanted to work with the Scots, I mean, um, the Holtz oh. at some point, because they wanted to bring it to the, to the commercial, so the commercial real, real estate? I could consult them and I could advise them. I said, like, oh, no, no, no. Marcelo, don't try to push that skin over on the horse now. Because <laughs> you're not going to work with that. Thing that you and Tish going to come out with a good whopping $1,200 after all this is done. Well, Marcelo should have said, I, I can give you six sweets for $50,000. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and I'll even bring you a new cross cake. <laughs> $50,000? What you going to do with that? I, so, I mean, it took a hard left again. And so... Uh, Mel was there and Mel ended up coming over into the conversation and she was like, I heard my name being thrown around. And, and Marcel said, yeah, you know, I was talking about 
you know, y'all wanted to break into commercial real estate and this is a great <laughs> opportunity for you to do so. And I could consult your mail. I was like, consult no, no. me. I said, not you. <laughs> not you. What the hell can you teach me? And I said, that's shady because anybody can learn from anybody. Right. And then she was like, in her confessional, you can't say short without saying ho. What the hell is he going to teach me? And it was all shady because mm. y'all not talking like that. Yeah. Why would you even think that they want to be cons consulted by you if they can't stand you right now? And then she ended up telling him, said, oh, pretty much F you and finish a project your own self. So then Tisha busted. And I said, Tisha, this was the time for you to just shh. Oh, there's Shady Mel. There she is. We were wondering where she was. Hmm. I said, okay, here we go again. First of all, that guy doing conversation about them sweets should never even came up at, at Maurice Pond. You know how they do. Yeah, I'm like, you y'all y'all choose the most awkward places to argue. Ah, for real. Y'all argued at the kids' party. <laughs> he argued at Maurice's party. They argued at Kimmy and Maurice's wedding. Yep. Just arguing. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all need to open. Y'all need to go sit down with Dr. Francis as a group, and then Tisha, you and Marso need to go next. Cause I'm about sick of y'all. I'm about to get y'all real quick. And Marso, you know I like you for. Oh, I got something for your head. Um, Tisha and Marso. Well, while I'm on that number, like the old folks say, <laughs> while I'm while I got you on the line. So go and keep your finger on that button. Okay. So we know that Tisha was supposed to be speaking at an event with april that was canceled due to covid covid came through and said no you not you gonna mm -hmm. stay at home but we know that marceau is having this thing where he's like i'm alone i feel lonely i go to the gym alone i work alone when i come home my wife's not here and i i always can see marceau's point but he's so extreme with it marceau is a guy that is used to a certain way a particular yeah. way and I don't think it's so much so that he wants his wife at the house all day doing nothing, but he likes consistency. Mm -hmm. He likes that if he's home, I want to be home with my, my wife, wife because mm -hmm. I'm out there with the world all the time. Mm -hmm. And I get that. Mm -hmm. And Tisha was like, right now, I'm learning how to navigate this newfound mm -hmm. freedom and this, this new space that I'm in. Mm -hmm. So while I've been at home alone with these kids all these years... And getting you, when you're available, you're going to have to get me when I'm available. And I get it. Yeah. So, now that the event is canceled, he's thinking, okay, so now you can stay, stay home. home. <laughs> it's been time with me. And she's like, well, since I've had this time budgeted already, I'm going to go ahead and go to Birmingham and spend time with my family. Why don't you come along? Because every time I go, they're like, where's Marceau? Where's Marceau? And he was like, hold hmm. on. You know that we don't rock like that. And you know that we've had issues. It's a little better now. And she's like, what issues? And I'm like, hold on, hold on. Like, hold yeah. On. <laughs> Are we in the same marriage? Because I'm pretty sure that if there was a big issue when it came to your family and your husband, you, you know, know exactly it. what yeah, he's you talking know about. about. Yeah, you definitely know about it. So, 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 so where are we? Who you married to that you don't know your family and them have an issue? I was so confused. Because for one... There has been an issue with her mama that you know about. So is that the family you're talking about? Uh, yeah. like, <laughs> instead of saying your name, you can be like, you know them, <laughs> that person over there. <laughs> like, we're talking about Wanda? Like, for real. So he said, you know what? He said, you know, <sighs> when Marceau said, you know, we're from different sides of the track. Huh? Wasn't that? Wasn't that? Tisha said, ho, 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 what, what, you, what you, you mean? What you mean? By we grew up on different sides how of the track. You got to do how Ronnie did on a shot. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> that we grew up on different sides of the tracks. We know what that means, but in the context of this situation on right here, what the hell are you trying to say? You trying to say that my family mm -hmm. is too hood, too ghetto, too unpolished to, ha to be in their presence for an extended amount of time? Or is it when... The family comes together, they have to come on your turf because it's polished and it's your side of the track. She said, you made it sound like you up here and my family yeah, down, down here. here. Don't do that. I said, yeah, because obviously something was very interesting to you on that side of the track. Yeah, I took it as he was saying, 
I don't want to deal with your family this weekend. Oh, that's what he was saying. Yeah, I don't want to deal with them because every time I get around them, it's always something. They pick on me or something like that. That's, that's the way I took it. I ain't oh, take he, it like they his... was on like different levels. Oh, he meant it like that too. <laughs> he meant it like that. And there's nothing wrong with different... I mean, we can't choose how we grew up. That's I right. grew up in a trailer park. That's as hood booger as it can get. I'm a little bit... And more... I grew up in a trailer. <laughs> it just wasn't in the park. <laughs> <laughs> Yours was just parked over there. Yeah, it, it was just, it was just parking a lot, but it just, we <laughs> just for no trip. <laughs> Look, we're a little bit more polished now, just a little bit. And me and my brother probably that room probably was a Sam by Sam. Y'all, y'all slept in a closet. Yeah, it was a basically a closet that had a bed, <laughs> bunk beds. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't help how you grew up. Um, the only thing you can do is improve and become better right. than what you've always seen. And I think Tisha is, I mean, she did that. Yeah, she did Leaps and bounds. bounds. Yeah. She did that. Right. <laughs> but when he said that, I even got a little offended. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Because mm. mm. it took me back to high school when we, because let me tell you about high school for us. Like the girls that grew up in the trailer park. We were like prime pick for the guys that wanted, you know, that like the guys that were unreachable. You know, your football players, your basketball players, the ones that everybody wanted. Those were the guys that liked the hood girls from the trailer park because we were cute, but we were rough around the edges and we were relatable. Like we didn't take life too seriously, but if it got about that, we were about that. And... You would have certain ones, then their parents would be like, oh, don't drive my car to the trailer park. Like, I had one one day, he was taking me home, and we had to switch vehicles because his mama didn't want him driving the good car to the trailer park. Like, my people going to just, like, take your wheels off your skin. And, well, if it, and the bad part about it was... It's not even like that. People that are like that, that's where you came from. Yeah. So I'm like, it's yeah. It's not even like that. Yeah. I, like, I, they was going to, like, oh, there they go, steal their car. Yeah, I don't think you should ever be too good to go back where you came from. Yeah. Because if it wasn't for that beginning, you this wouldn't be your present. Hello. That was your that was that was your training ground. Stomping ground for real. So the trailer real. park was your training ground, and the trailer without the park was my <laughs> training ground. <laughs> so Tisha, I'm here with you, girl. I am here with you. I'm here with you when you can hear what everybody got to say and they and they they trail and yeah. they and you and yours, you can still hear what But got but to my soul brother to brother that if that what you say to your wife hurts her feelings, don't do that. Don't do that. But yeah. he realized that it hurt her feelings and instead of him backtracking and apologizing, he pressed harder. He was like you, you don't you He you, turned it around on her. her. Yeah. Yeah. And then you talking about something. That's not what I'm saying. I grew up and we were homeless and we had to sleep on the church floor. I said, no, 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 no. That's different. Because your mama and your daddy tied y'all money away to the church. And then I'm going to tell you exactly how it happened. Because I'm church. No, you ain't going yes, there. I am. You going yes, I am. <laughs> I'm going there because I'm churched and I know how it works. Y'all, your mama and your daddy or whoever your mama was with or she was a single parent, I don't know. But she was faithful. Faithful to that ministry. And I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. Something happened. And y'all ended up having to sleep at the church. And they had y'all cleaning up the church. They had y'all washing them daggone prayer arm rags. That when you fall out, they cover you up with the sheets. Y'all was having to do that. Y'all was dusting the commune table. Y'all was making sure that the um, baptismal pool was filled up. So you're saying they was, they was taking care of the church for room and board? That was Hell yeah, I know how it works. <laughs> And then on Sunday morning, y'all better make sure y'all skit is packed up neatly so that don't nobody know y'all there and don't fry no bacon. You going to hell. Don't fry no bacon because they going to know that y'all yeah, you, you going to hell for that. I'm not. They going to hell for making people stay at the church for a room and board instead of putting them, all, <laughs> putting them at the stand. I mean, you got to stay somewhere if you ain't got somewhere to stay. Stand to stay. Put them in stand to stay. Well, obviously they couldn't afford a stand to stay. Let them keep their time. So the church extended their stay. Shut up. They showed up on Sunday and they stayed Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> 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 oh, no, we got to get on. 
<laughs> you too much. Yeah, I ain't like that at all. I didn't like that at all. <clears throat> Marso and Maurice, it's all jokes, but I know I know what happened <laughs> when y'all had to stay at that church. Yeah. Y'all fell on hard times, and the church was a refuge to y'all, and it yep. was a blessing. Yeah, it but was. I, but I know y'all had to clean up. Yeah. I know and, 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 and on, a, on a serious note, that makes you appreciate everything where you are. Everything. Yeah. It might not be the perfect place or where you want to be, but you're grateful that you're no longer there. Uh huh. And it oh, builds character like no other. And now you can go back and speak to the one that is there and be like, the song like the church song say, "Trouble don't last always." Hmm. But you ain't always gonna be sleeping at that church player. Hello. Yeah. Hello. That's where you got your calling at up in that church. Yeah. I shout out boy. But we ain't trying to preach straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up. Two, Two down. down. Holla. Ooh.